What's going on guys, it's Sperky, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to do three simple clean transitions in Vegas. Um, I'm using Vegas 14, but this works on any version. I am editing in 24 frames a second, so I don't have to add as many keyframes. If you are editing in 30 or 60, you're going to have to add a lot more keyframes, so I'd recommend 30 or less for this. Also, you want to right click on your clip, go to switches, and make sure resample mode is off on both clips. What you'll need for this are sapphire plugins. I'm going to add blur mode curves. So what most people, including myself, like to do for my transitions, I like to use slow fast fade, but slow and fast fade is very linear. It's almost impossible to make anything look smooth, and I will show you here. You see that? It's very linear, and on the other clip it's a fast fade. For each of the three transitions, I have already added all of the keyframes, and I'm going to show you how, and I will show you what to set each value to. I'm going to show you three transitions. The first one will be a rotation, and what I've done, I've added 11 keyframes, or 12, and I've made them all a different value. Each value will get higher, and will lead up to around negative 70, where I've set it. Rotation should range from around 45 to 90. The reason why you would add so many keyframes is because Vegas does not have any way to make custom fades other than this. So I'm just going to show you my rotation in comparison to the slow and fast. There's almost no comparison. It can be improved though. All this is, is just trial and error. You're gonna have to change these a bunch of times so you can find the smoothest transition you can make. Next is the z -dist transition which, again, I have already added the keyframes for. Gradually make the value higher until it reaches around 2. 2 to 2.5, I would say, is a good range. So this is how it looks. Again, I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison. The last transition is a Shift X. And again, I've already input all of the keyframes for them. You can copy my values if you want. Just slow, gradual transition. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments, I will answer them. And yeah, see ya.